Each year in the United States, there are about 70,000 new cases of lymphoma. What's important to understand is that lymphoma is not one disease. It's over 70 different diseases. And when we think about categorizing these 70 different types of lymphoma, we think about lumping them into one of two pots, those that are very aggressive and those that are more chronic and indolent. What's interesting is that many of those ag aggressive forms of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma can be cured with combination chemotherapy, while many of the more indolent chronic forms of the disease can actually be managed for years, if not decades, many times not even requiring chemotherapy. What's really interesting is that over the last 10 years or so, we've gained enormous insight into the biological basis of many of these diseases, now understanding at a genetic level what makes these diseases misbehave. What's even more exciting and relevant for the patient is that we've begun to translate these fundamental scientific discoveries into new drugs and new forms of therapy that are changing the natural history of these diseases before our eyes. Many of these subtypes of lymphoma that historically weren't very curable are now actually being cured in the population. And for many patients, many of those diseases are being turned into chronic diseases for which the patient can live a very meaningful, high quality of life for many years, if not decades. Here at Columbia University's Center for Lymphoid Malignancies, we've brought together some of the world's foremost authorities in radiology, radiation oncology, cancer biology, and hematopathology all working together to provide the latest state-of-the-art care for these very diverse and oftentimes very complex diseases. If you're a patient who's been recently diagnosed with the disease or you're a patient in whom the disease comes back after initial therapy, we're here to help.